And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. We are most of the way through Redgar Forbidden Lands here and um, we just got one stage left before the boss of this area. The Beast Pack's final stand. Five hidden Ds and three other things. Let's go. The wonders of streaming. Yes indeed, Tyrion. So I'm going to assume that this is going to work much the same way, where uh, this is going to be another like mini boss rush type of deal. So if we do run into a set of abilities, I'm going to keep going by the method of first one wins. Especially considering that uh, there's not a lot of people in chat today. Which, oh well. I don't have to worry about the the numbers game anymore because I'm affiliate. Oh, that's fancy. Also, this is like the perfect ability for this uh, this place here. There we go. Defeat all the beasts in the starting area. So we got a hidden, uh, hidden D out of that. And so we got uh, five wanted posters to deal with. First D. Go ahead and uh, mouthful. Ow. It just stops us. Yeah, another one of these guys, alright. Oh. I lost my thing. Alright, so we need a mouthful of water with this. Hopefully we can find something like that uh, in the near future. Ow. That's a good spot. Give us some money. Well, dang. Yeah, that's going into the lava, unfortunately. And so are we. No? Yeah, I lost track of where I was in space-time there. Okay. 
Also, I just realized how low our health is now. Oh, that's gonna be timed? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, thank goodness. Back up to full health. Also, this is the first time in the game, I think, that it actually um, rotated the, the level. That's kind of interesting. There we go. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, you, you gotta watch out for every little secret in this game because Kirby games tend to just be chock full of them. And they just get more and more secrets like as as the games progress. Yeah, that's obviously a thing. There we go. That's gonna help us out a little bit. Yeah. Long block there. Here's us a capsule. Hit this from here. I don't think it has special powers. Oh, yeah, we we had to hit it from from there. I wonder if we could have gotten Nyx there if we had done it right. Now, we haven't seen if this game has Mix yet. But I do know that there are some games that actually increase the, uh, the requirement for Mix to three enemies. Oh, no, we got Mix! What do we get? What do we get? Dragon fire. Get this mouthful here. Tip this over. Ooh, all right. A little risky move here, but uh, not too much of a problem. I mean, you couldn't have a Kirby game with abilities without Mix. Alright. Oh, jeez. Friendly Gator. By friendly, I mean uh, 
wants to eat your face. This is probably going to be another uh, another place where I need to uh, come back with probably a, a boat and ring mouth. <laughs> Turns out Dragonfire, the perfect ability for her right here. What? Apparently I was under there. Uh, we can get those coins when we come back, I think. <laughs> Got ring mouth. Now is this gonna be timed? It wasn't last time, so... Looks like the answer is no. to be a thing for getting all of the coins in this area. And again, there might not. And there we go. D number four. There's not a whole lot of obvious places that you can get mix, honestly. Like, there, there has only been a, uh, maybe a handful of places where Mix was, like, reasonably possible. It's giving us Crash here, so I'm going to assume that Time Crash is probably going to be something that we can use. Oh, okay. This is still a super neat ability. Oh, mouthful. Go and hang glider again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need to hit all of them or if there's gonna be like one that's gonna be like just a secret thing that I can do. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, I missed that one. Well, we're going to go ahead and retry this. Let me try a star over here. Let's go back in time a minute or two. As with anything on the field, at least, I'll try everything twice. So if I don't get it this time, uh, we'll come back to it later.
And this is where this chain then starts. There we go. You definitely missed this little guy. Ow. Slightly crashed there. Perfectly fine. We made it to the end. Uh, I thought that was a pile of money there. Um. What is this that Kirby's doing? Oh, okay. I was just bouncing against things. I thought he was doing kind of a, a ninja type of jump there. Dang. I guess I can't actually deal with you. Yeah, you look like... You look like I'm gonna need... Um, cone mouth for that. Oh, that was way too close. Let's see if I can get this. Uh... Nope, that was a complete whiff. There we go. Took care of another wanted poster. Here's our cone mouth. Caps over us. And some health. And these platforms are back. Dang. Buddies. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm stuck on this little islet. Didn't get all the wanted posters, unfortunately. And we also fell in the lava while using Code Mouth, unfortunately. We went to lockers. Oh, cone mouth. Speaking of, now he can stuff an entire cone into his mouth. Use your pointy head to jab below you and bust open cracks in the ground or on pipes. You're out of cone troll, Kirby. <laughs> ho 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 ho. Light ring. And who's this little fellow? Snacker. Because we, we don't have enough of the elongated S's with ukulele. This ravenous reptile can swallow its enemies whole. Once it spots prey, it'll slither after it as swift as it can. Some of the things it tries to swallow seem unreasonably large, but its stretchy body allows, to, as a, allows it to gulp them down. Wait, why does that sound familiar? Gee, I wonder. Yeah, letting loose with the hard puns here, man. But we need 32, and we got more than 32, so 
I think we had 31 going into that uh, stage. In the presence of the king. So is this going to be a King DDD rematch? Now we need Storm Tornado for that and we don't have that yet. Um, can't believe a Kirby was a snake this whole time, right? So let's go upgrade one more ability. Just in case that ability might come up with the upcoming boss. So we have a uh, cutter. We have bomb. We have tornado. We have drill. We're still not gonna do sleep for now um, because we only have enough money for one level three thing, and really not much else. The so first one wins. Cutter, bomb, tornado, or drill. Cutter it is. Looks like we're getting Buzzsaw Cutter. Let's go test it out. Oh, that's some pretty heavy damage. Oh, and it bounces around too, that's interesting. How many can we have on the field at a time? Looks like there's no real limit to how many we can have on the field, so that's cool. I don't think that unlocks a rift though, so we're just gonna go... Uh... I don't know if there's a rift that we haven't done yet that we can do. that one. I feel like there should be something here. But maybe there was a coin here and I don't remember. Rem 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 maybe I don't remember. Maybe I don't remember how to say remember. Anyway, in the presence of the king. Four secret things to get. And hopefully we'll find Alpha in here. I can see them on my checklist. Probably can't see them right now, can I? Now let's see if Cutter is one of our options here. Uh, looks like it is not. This looks like Tornado? Yeah. So uh, Cutter is not on the table for this one. Does it prove that I'm not bluffing? Throwing it away. Uh, Mennonite Sword. Uh, tornado. I think that's Stor That's not Storm Tornado, that's other tor Flowery Tornado. Um, that's Blizzard Ice and Space Ranger. So which one are we gonna pick? Space Ranger. Uh, Tyrion, do you agree or would you like to pick a different one? I 
You agree. All right. Makes it nice and easy. And sure enough, that looks like King Dedede over there. Forgo DDD? I mean, I'd rather forego DDD, but I don't think that's an option. Pretty hefty damage there. Boom. Kind of asked for it by just standing there, I guess. Ooh. That could have gone substantially worse than it did. It's gonna... Uh, actually, that's yeah, not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. Yangi. Yeah, sure enough. Oh boy. He, he's gone full animal now. What's up? Got some extra damage there. Oh, lost my ability. Get it. Ow. Oh geez. Things are happening. There we go. Beat DDD again. But still no Elphalan. Hmm. I think everybody using a second level evolved ability. <laughs> er. Er. So, who wants to bet that DDD is going to get up and, I don't know, maybe capture Kirby? Well, maybe not. Don't get hit by Forgo DDD's fire attack. Be down for the count this time. Oh, I think he's back to normal, actually. He, he seemed a little strange earlier, honestly. Yeah, whatever was up with him, he definitely, um, he's definitely back to normal now. Uh oh. Turns out DDD cares sometimes. Look at that. And he's staying behind to defend us. Lab Discoverer. Okay, so I guess we do have another area to go through. This will probably be the final area. Okay. I I don't know how we authenticated, but sure. Welcome visitors to the Dream Discoveries Tour. 
tour of our science facility, Lab Discover Uh huh. On this thrilling tour, you'll be introduced to the ultimate life form, specimen IDS 86. Is this maybe a lore dump? You're not talking about us, are you? Once it was contained, our lab began studying IDF 86's spatial teleportation ability. You're talking about Alpha? laid the groundwork for the planetary warp technology we enjoy today. Well, this seems inhumane. However, 30 years after our research began, a warp experiment incident occurred in this facility. A new life form, separated from the main specimen, escaped in the aftermath. This sounds threatening all that of a sudden. That new subspecimen has yet to be recovered. In the time since, IDF-86 has shown no signs of activity. It is now kept in a state of permanent stasis within the custom-made Eternal capsule here on the top level of Lab Discoverer. And here we are. Let's meet the ultimate life form, specimen IDF 86. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the most amount of voice acting that has ever been in a Kirby game. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna fight Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I appreciate just dumping the plot on us with the subtlety of Crowbar. Uh, so we have options here. Um, so it looks like uh, Space Ranger is still an option. Uh, we have Dragon. Dragon Fire. We have uh, Buzzsaw Cutter. We have um, Floor Tornado. We have Wild Hammer. And we have Pencil Drill. So, what shall it be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? The only thing that isn't here is the sword. Well, there's a few abilities that aren't here, but uh, there's a there's a very good selection. We gotta vote for Cutter. Shall it be Cutter, or shall the vote be split? Cutter is fine. Since this is the last, probably the last selection, if the vote had been split, I would have picked one of the two. Well, that's fancy. So this isn't going to be a full area. This is just going to go directly into the final boss, I guess. Hey, buddy. Take a good look, Pink Intruder. Isn't this a beautiful sight? You not even see him, Great One, in full form. They're incomplete without their other half. Long ago, the Great One granted the people of this world a miraculous power. Those people left this world behind and entered a land of dreams. Once the Great One is complete again, I know we will also receive this miraculous power. We, the ones they left behind in this forgotten land. And now, the time has finally come. And that's right. This small creature here this is the Great One's missing half. It's, uh... 
must be like densely packed or something because that that looks like less than half but no, let's just go with it finally after all our planning and effort we can help the great one reach their complete form we've dreamed of this moment for so many years if you dare stand in our way we'll feast on your hide It was off screen. That was kind of a jerk move. There we go. Soften me up a little bit. Most bosses don't uh, bother doing that. You must not have confidence in your abilities, Mr. Leongar, King of the Beasts. Okay, you're Angie now. Angie Kitty. Angry Angie Kitty go mau mau. Ow. Purdy Kirby go ow ow. You might see her for his death here, I'm not really sure. Oh you're you're hungry. There go, okay. I don't think I have actually. I mean I've I've failed in a uh, in a treasure rift, which is similar, but I haven't actually died, I don't think. Until now. Looks like we take a hundred coin penalty, unfortunately. All right, reselecting abilities. Um, Buzzsaw Cutter is off the table. So we got Dragonfire, we got Space Ranger, Pencil Drill, Wild Hammer, and Floor Tornado. Tyrion saying fire? What does Zero say? Alrighty. Dragon fire it is. Oh geez, look at that. Uh, 13 raiders from Make Dear Cat. Welcome to all of you. Welcome to Let's Play the World. I guess I should take a second. I'm cool here if you don't know. Uh, this is Let's Play the World Live. I am a variety streamer uh, streaming a variety of things. So obviously doing um, Kirby and Forgotten Land right now. On Tuesdays I'm currently doing uh, Ukulele. And on Sundays I do Archipelago Multiworld with a bunch of friends. So um, yeah. There that is, and there you go. Welcome, welcome.
I was hoping to uh, dash through him there, but that didn't really work out. Oh. And I threw away my ability. Crap. Okay, well. I guess we're doing this on normal. Dang. Ow. Ah. Not used to fighting with no, uh, fighting bosses with no abilities in this game. How is this game? It is pretty good. Um, honestly, I, I felt, ow, I felt like, um, Star Allies was a bit too formulaic and not really that great. No, it wasn't a bad game, it just wasn't really, it didn't really do anything. But um, this is a pretty big breath of fresh air. Ow. Okay, I need to be, I need to get serious about this boss here, because it is serious about me. Yeah, Star Allies was not bad, it just could have definitely been better. It just lacked something, and I'm not really sure if I can really describe what. Also, the extra modes in it were uh, kind of brutal, and I have not managed to 100% that game yet. And you're gonna be excited again here. Getting down to the wire. Ow. Kirby has the blinkies going on. Um no. Yeah. Don't change. We we can get this done. Alright. Um so now uh Cutter and Fire are off the table. We got four abilities left. We got Tornado, we got Hammer, Drill Pencil, and Space Ranger. Oh, what do I hear as far as what we're going to use? Bone with lead, your vote is pencil. Alright, got one pencil. Pencil drill might be kind of interesting with this fight. Mm. Have to see. Anyone else? Pencil is the one that can dig underground. I'm just demonstrating it right now. Digging underground, diggy diggy hole hole, and making a full loop. Full loop does extra damage. Wind wig looks funny. Well, your first vote was for a pencil drill, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, wind looks cute. Let's see what one more person says. Pencil also looks cute. Not really sure what how to take the how to take those as votes or not. You dig it? Okay. 
think I know well enough that we're going with pencil drill for this. Uh, it doesn't lock the ability, I'm just taking them off the table. Just so we can give this one a try with different abilities. Ow. Not a fan of how it automatically centers on the boss. We're doing pretty good actually with Drill. And then I keep getting destroyed by this attack. Excited here. You gotta do your little beam thing. Naturally, we're gonna get hit by that. Because why wouldn't we? Ah! Come on. Oh, and the ability is way over there. Alright. Give. Got it. Once again, this is going to come down to the wire here. Well, it looks like... Really? There we go. Ooh. But of course, we've played enough Kirby games to know this is not over. Right? We've rescued Elphalon, but there's still gonna be something. You. You dare! Plan ruined. Important plan. Needed labor. Open vortex. Found workforce. Brought here. And yet, error made. Irksome. Pink contaminant. Careful planning. Now wasted. No more planning. No more patience. Instead, everything shall be consumed. Oh dear. Looks like we're fighting chaos from Sonic here. Oh no. Looks like we're fighting everything. Uh, looks like we're fighting Akira? What's going on here? Oh dear. Uh, Elfin, you have something for this? L let's run away. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, this cute, uh, this cute uh, flying crater here is Elfin. Um, fair amount of story behind it. We don't really have the time to um cover it 
seeing as we're being chased down by friggin' Akira here. Facto Forgo. So am I supposed to be doing damage? Apparently. that ability. I feel like it would have been better to use than uh, than drill in this case. Buzzsaw Carter, let's go. Hurry, hurry, run fast. Uh. Well, that destroyed you. Uh, this is probably still not over. Oh dear. Uh, so, long story short, that thing and Elphalan are two halves of the same hole. Which is something that was discovered, like, ten minutes ago. Oh, there we go. Um, nothing over there. And got some abilities over here. Oh, geez, we got all of the abilities over here. So, your pick. Okay, and that just keeps on going. So, tornado, drill, hammer, uh, ice, needle, uh, ranger, fire, bomb, cutter, and sword. Yeah, we were very subtly, quote unquote, told the whole backstory. Before the boss. Thank you for the follow, uh, Big Deer Cat. Um, so yeah, we have the choice of all of the abilities except for sleep and one other one that I can't uh, think of right now. Fire was wrecking him. You keep burning his ass. Anyone else? I realize there's like the abundance of choice here. Like we've never had the option of almost all of the abilities right before a boss. In the entirety of the series. Uh, middle one I assume you mean this. This is Chain Mob. Um, basically, you chain a bunch of them together and uh, they explode together. More of them are chained, the bigger the explosion. That is a level 2 ability. Um, some of these are level 2, some of these are level 3.
Unfortunately, it costs money to get them upgraded, so... Like, in-game money, not... Ranger or Sword. <laughs> also, I just, I just saw your comment just now, Tyrion. I can't believe you have to fight Internet Garfield. <laughs> Um, all right, you know what? Let's go with Ranger. This is probably it. Either that or there's going to be like a special ability that unlocks once we actually defeat this boss. Oh. It's a Pokemon. But straight up, Fecto Ophilus is a Pokemon. <laughs> Probably can't shoot that far, unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, jeez. That didn't do a whole lot of damage, honestly. Well, that was cool. Really? Oh, you're already back, huh? Alright. Yeah, you are all over, all over the time here. Oh, this is, uh... Exciting. Oh. Off you go again. doing now okay these lasers gotcha but if I'm not paying a whole lot of attention to the chat here there's trying to figure out this boss it does a lot of things <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed Well, that was a little mutually assured destruction, right? That didn't charge up the full, unfortunately. Some damage is better than none. Throw a Pokeball! Oh jeez. What's going on? Oh no. Oh no. What's happening to reality? Oh my goodness. Uh, 
All right, that happened. Oh, we're gonna charge it. Oh, there we go. Decent amount of damage there. Also, super lucky. Ah. Oh no, not this again. Oh jeez. I... Now I should avoid getting hit, I think. I oh, got hit by that, though. Eat it! Yeah, I didn't think so. Here we go again. Well, that hurt a little. That hurt a lot. Oh, you're not done. Um. Oh. Shake that control stick. It's like Dark Souls a little... Oh, yeah, kind of, I guess. Hello, friend. You seem a little melty right now. Are we not done? Okay, th this is the part of the game that's going to have, like, the one special ability that only applies to the final, final, final boss. How many, how many bosses have we fought in a row? Such incredible power! Whatever it's trying to do, it's going to be pretty bad. What is it, Kirby? Wow, is that? Is that your home? That's Planet Popstar. Oh no! It's pulling Popstar through that huge vortex! It wants your world to collide with this one! We have to stop it, but how? <laughs> okay. A mouthful of 18 wheeler. Welcome to Let's Play Hard Truck 18 Wheels of Steel. Only Optimus Prime can stop this. And we can indeed jump in this film, so... Oh jeez. Uh... Alright. Once again, guys, a lot going on right now, so... Might not have my eye on the chat too much. It's an interesting remix of the uh, invincibility theme too. Cluster truck. Also, hey, Keencrafts, well, welcome to Let's Play the World Live.
Oh, this is gonna get exciting, isn't it? Oh, I need to mash. All right. Okay, we're just gonna crash an entire big rig into this guy. Or this can happen. Alright, let's try this again. Purr! Oh. We're really making us work for this one. I think Kirby might be a little tired. That's some detailed grass. Well, it looks like we're back on Popstar, but uh, Chaos is not done. Is this playing Popstar? Everything's being pulled in! I need to close the connection between worlds. Even if it takes all the power I've got! Looks like it's looking a little like a Van Gogh painting here. Hey, Kirby. Thanks for everything. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there, Tyrion. Well, thank you for dropping by, uh, Meg Deer Cat, and uh, thank you for the good job. Um, good to meet you. Let me turn this up for you guys.
Well, normally I talk about my feelings on the game during the end credits, but then the end credits decided to start singing, so... <laughs> oh well. Oh. Is that so? Alright. Well, um... As you can see, we're not done yet. We're at 64%. Um... Ah, there's another, uh, another volume to collect here. And there's also the sound tests, as is tradition. And another circuit has opened up in the Coliseum, which they apparently didn't want to call the arena. The ultimate cup. To increase the power of the copy ability. Power, uh, copy abilities can now be powered up at Waddle Dee's weapon shop. Well, we can power them up even more? Oh, hi. Uh, I guess Clarline wants to uh, give us a chat. Hey, look! Claraline is visiting our town. She looks a bit upset. Hmm. Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Kirby? When things finally calmed down, and the animals came to celebrate with us, Leandgar was missing. I bet Claraline has been looking for him. She might have found something. You should ask her what's going on. First, let's see uh, if we've missed anything here. King DDD has the blueprint. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a big record. All right. So, looks like King DDD is in town and has a blueprint for us. So let's look for him first. Um, oh, okay. I'm so glad we're all able to see Alphalin again. You really had us worried for a minute. Alphalin's power seems to have opened a stable connection between this world and Planet Popstar. This just became our home away from home. Now we can keep adventuring here without any worries. Just gonna get, give us a plot reason why we can come back here, I guess. Yes, yes, I know you have a, a thing there. coins. Unfortunately we don't have enough coins to upgrade anything. Hey Kirby! Been a while, hasn't it? I didn't get to say it before, so thanks for saving King Dedede. Speaking of, he seems to really like this town. He's been resting to, to help himself heal. Actually, we have something to give you. It's a blueprint from King Dedede. A gift from the king! What an honor! Let me guess, this. Oh, mass ham. Level 4 hammer. I just realized that. Pretty sure that's level 4 anyway. Well, let's go turn that in and just at, at least see how much that's gonna cost. I mean, we don't have enough money for anything.
Kirby in the summer home. Guess what, Kirby? I've found a way to make your copy abilities even more powerful. I just need a few rare stones to raise your attack power. I'm calling this process Ability Power Up. I'm ready to power up your abilities whenever you are. Pick a favorite and we'll try it out. Okay, so it's just uh, a power increase, basically. Yeah, that's straight up, level 4. Masked Hammer Blueprint, we would need 1200 monies and 5 rare stones. Unfortunately, which one is your favorite? Mm. I don't know. Like, the abilities in this game are really good. Hmm. You asked me uh, to pick favorites here. I cannot really identify one. <laughs> like they, they all have their their ups and downs. Like they they really thought it through with the abilities in this game. Um. Yes, I know all four. Let's just go fishing. Let's go fishing and I'll talk a little bit about this game. Um, so yeah, uh, I am super happy with this game, honestly. Um, like, I, I can't really put my finger on exactly what it was. Like, this game is just super charming. It has a whole lot of stuff in it. Um, we still have a fair amount of work to do. Uh, it doesn't seem to have like a uh, hundred additional game modes like Star Allies did. Um, I'm sure we'll have our work cut out for us as far as finding the remaining uh, hidden Ds. But um, I do intend to find them all, and I do intend to do it on stream. Oops. Donk. Um, but yeah, uh, like, really happy with how this game turned out. And, uh, hope to see more games like this. Like, like, Still with their with their own like quirks and systems, but th like this is this was super fun. Like I, I will say when when I saw the uh, trailer for this on uh, in Nintendo Direct, I had the feeling that it was more of an open uh, an open world game. Uh, and it did turn out to be stage based, which yeah, it, that's fine. All of the uh, all of the Kirby games are pretty much stage based, honestly. But uh, it would be really interesting to see like an actual open world game. The only real issue with this is what you were expecting from the start. Uh, what would that be, Tyrion? Mouthful mode being really situational and gimmicky like other Kirby games. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see where you're coming from with that. Um, that does tend to be the thing with uh, with a lot of the special gimmicks in Kirby games, but. Uh, at the same time, they like they did have a fair amount of variety. Like, I find in especially like in the three and uh, the three DS games, um, like oh geez, there was a fifth command there that I wasn't expecting. But uh, like the, there was a fair amount of variety. Like with the 3DS games, you like it tended to be that you would get like the one thing 
that was special about the level, which inevitably led you to, like, the special thing in the level. Um, and there, there wasn't as much of just linear gimmicks in this game. But yes, ultimately, Mouthful Mode is kind of just this weird thing that this game does, but I think it does it pretty well. It's better than any game since Return to Dream. Yeah, I, I will agree with you there, Tyrion. I will definitely agree with you there. Oops. I tripped the X button by accident. I feel like that's what people are expecting at this point, honestly, that is that there's going to be some sort of gimmick. So, you know, if there's going to be a gimmick, at least make it good, and I feel like this one's pretty good. You know? Ah! Trip the X button again. Yeah, Kirby dozes off real quick. I don't know, maybe I'm getting in the practice to uh, to do uh, Blue Marlin here. Give you a hint, I'm not actually gonna play Blue Marlin. But we're just gonna relax for a little bit and uh, have a little bit of a chat. Oh, when did, uh, when did zero? Oh, t 11 minutes ago, 200 bits. I completely missed that. Thank you, those are the first bits that, uh, that I have received. Oh, that was a sixth command. Dang. Like I've mentioned before, the the notification sound is coming through my speakers rather than into my headphones. Which I guess I could configure it to uh, come through the headphones. Just that. This was kind of a rush setup because... Ultimately, I want to, to have something that's actually mine. But there's a lot of work that uh, that I would have to put in for that. Um, now, just looking at the Twitch APIs and things like that, um, there's uh, a lot of weird things that you need to like. Getting bits is easy. Like I can get bits with my current setup. Um, getting subs is harder, I have to, to set up a WebSocket connection, and then getting follows is ridiculous. And I don't understand why it's so complicated. Like, you have to do this kind of middleware type of deal, where you have to make a program that connects to a server, then also acts as a server. <sighs> I, I don't understand why it's so complicated. Let's see if we can get one of the big ones. So far, we've we've hooked a few of them, but we haven't caught a single one yet. Here comes one. Ah, I double I double tap Dex.
But yeah, if if you are waiting for me to uh, to get back into the game proper, uh, that that's not gonna happen tonight. We're we're pretty much done with uh, with making actual progress. It's kind of chilling at this point. Doing some fishing, and talking about the game, talking about whatever. See if we can get one of these big ones. But I'm probably gonna call it pretty soon here. Also, something that I'm gonna have to remember is uh, now that I am affiliate, I'm actually not allowed to post my VOD or make or publish my VOD on YouTube uh, for 24 hours. Hey, Madison, thank you for the follow. Let's try for just one more of the big ones. Uh, if I if I don't get it this time, then I'll I'll uh, just go ahead and call it. I think. <laughs> Flag. Hope that you'll be with us uh, tomorrow night for the uh, Super Shuffle. Mm. Oh, here we go. Ah, too late. And same goes to you, Zero. Um, I, I know that you are a very busy person and probably won't have the time. But uh, we always like having you along. What you gotta say? When I sever the connection between our two worlds, I used up all my power. I blacked out. But Claroline found me. She kept me alive. That's how I was able to see you again, Kirby. So, if she needs help, then I volunteer. Family lunch, gotcha. So, um... I guess we'll, uh... So, someone might have to remind me. Um, yeah. Conversation with the family, gotcha. Uh, hopefully I can remember, but someone might need to remind me that we need to speak to, to uh, Claroline when we, um convene next week. Uh, how many Ds do we have? 230. Yeah, we're, we're getting up there. But yeah, um, bit early, but I'm gonna call it here. There we go. So, um, that was a hell of a, uh, an inaugural uh, affiliate stream. So, uh, thank you to everyone who was here. Um, we had uh, Miyaka Yuki drop by for a second. Uh, Zero, Tyrion, Donut drop by for a second. Uh, Ray from Make Dear Cat. Um, including DDR ja Jazz Jack CS, NZ Yoshi, Monochrome Cow, uh, Keen Crafts dropped by, Madison, uh, thank you Keen Crafts Drumboardist and uh, Make Dear Cat and Madison for the follows, Sin Guy, Zero, and Tyrion for the subs. Uh, make your cat for the raid and a zero for the 200 bits. The next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow night at 7:30 p.m. or later Atlantic uh, Daylight Time. It is going to be our Sunday Super Shuffle, where we are going to do some Archipelago multi-world shenanigans. 
Um, the next stream after that is going to be on uh, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is going to be our regular long run stream. We're going to continue our run through ukulele. I'm definitely going to have to remember to um, look at those uh, quality settings so that we don't end up playing a slideshow again. Um, right now I don't have anything to bring to Code Creator Stream, um, so I'm going to hold on that for a little bit, but we might end up working on something now that I don't really have to worry about average viewer accounts anymore. Um, yeah, and that brings us around the, week, around the wheel to our next uh, extra long run stream where we're going to continue our run through Kirby and the Forgotten Land, helping out Clarline and um, trying to rescue the remaining Ds out there because there are still a fair few of them out there. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, uh, actually, hang on. Sussball is streaming. We're gonna go raid Sussball. Uh, she's playing Death Stranding. Um, let me just set that up real quick. Actually, let me just make sure that uh, no one has asked to guide the raid. Nope. So there we go. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolier if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.